Uh, what do you know about the sword's powers? Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. I've got to be going. Of course. Don't let me keep you from your business. And... Oh, look. My business. Instead of waiting to do that, let's do it now. Your wish. And stasis. Yes. Oh, he resisted. All right. Well, we'll do this the hard way then. This is what a Jedi can do. This is what a Jedi can do. And one more. Well, either we killed him twice, or there was two of those there. Ooh. Rubble, rubble. A new sensor of some sort. What did we just get? Maybe not a new sensor. Neuroband light scan. Demolition sensor. Awareness plus eight. Demolitions plus four. Awareness plus eight. Like 40 awareness, wouldn't I? Um, awareness plus eight. Yeah, I would have. <laughs> oh boy, 49. All right. Juhani, are you aware that your bra is chafing? Uh, sorry, my awareness is really high. I can't avoid things like this. Uh, okay, so, uh, did I... Oh, I did. I accidentally equipped it. I want this. Now, this is a rather interesting little thing. I think there's a way to... Oh, I can't remember. Severed arm... He's warning us about this. Clearly we have a problem when we try to cross over. Uh, is that some loot? But surprisingly, because we are Jedi, we can do quite well here, uh, just by standing here. I think you can... I vaguely remember, I mean this... I thought you could blow this up. Maybe it's just that one down there. If I read that thing that I picked up from the severed arm, it would tell me. So I switch to give items and of course we just go down to my grenades here and, and throw in a uh, frag grenade. So, problem solved. And these aren't as hard as you would think with grenades and what have you. But I find that if you just stand here, they slowly destroy themselves. And every once in a while, since not everybody is as good at blaster bolt deflecting as I am, I, I may have to throw a heal up every once in a while. But you can see we're chipping away at them. Or they're chipping away at themselves, really. One down. So I, I find that quite amusing. And did I see out of the corner of my eye, I saw one of those flying creatures. Onward! Lever, lever. 
Leave her alone. That actually might have... Yeah, you can actually get hurt by that falling debris. That might actually have disabled these or something. I can't recall. Obviously, it did nothing here. But uh, anyway, we'll move onward. No problem. Got it. Okay, so we are here. And time really for a full save. I will just use this. And this is the Keeper of the Sword. And now you can break into that tomb right at the front door there. And I can't remember which order we're supposed to do this in. This might be locked at the moment. No, there it is. Fibra sword, silver line sword, notch steel sword. Oh, right, okay. So now if we go into my inventory and look at these... Uh, they're not where I thought they would be. I thought they would be in as quest items. So, new swords. Silver line sword. This blade is long and straight and sparkles with a silver glow that becomes brighter as the hilt is touched. It's quite warm and almost appears that the blade becomes white hot once it is equipped. Such a fiery weapon would be devastating against an armored opponent. A small insignia of a flame is impressed upon the hilt. So that's one of them. Notched steel sword. The blade of this sword is ebony black and notched along the length to give a cruel and jagged appearance. There is a strange visual effect upon the sword which makes it seem as if shadows pulse and ebb along the surface. It's very cool to the touch, and upon close inspection, a small insignia of a dark circle can be spotted on its hilt. Yeah, where's the other one? There's one more. Chani silver lined? Is this it? This blade is long and straight and sparkles with a silver glow. No. Am I going to have to... No, Iron Sword, obviously not. Short Sword. Where is the third sword? Notch Steel, that one we read. Blade Long and Cruel, yes. Small Circle, Vibra Blade. Clearly not that. Prototype, Mission, Short Sword. Silver line sword, stun baton. We're missing one. I'm sure we're missing one. Show all items. Silver line, a chunny foil. Fibra sword. Am I just... is my brain stopped? Wasn't there three swords in there? Ah, this is it. Vibra sword. Okay, it, it looks a bit different, so I think this is the one. Like most Vibra blades, this weapon lets off a dim humming sound once activated. Its lead shimmers with a deep blue-colored force field. And its hilt is the black of charcoal. A single insignia on the hilt shows that of a red, baleful eye. That might be the one. So that's part too of long, ah, too long, too long in the cold and the dark. I am disturbed again. Oh, a human. Now this you don't see every day. This, this is an old spirit full of the Force. I sense great sadness and regret. Walk carefully. A Jedi here? Several, in Why fact. Why have you come to this dark place, Jedi? Why disturb my sleepless rest? Well, that's actually why I came here. I was here once before, I think. 
Do you remember me? I do, and yet I do not. The force is so strong with you, human. Yet the face, the soul, uh, it has been so very long. Are you Ajunta Paul? I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. You are a Sith Lord from the ancient times? What do you mean by those we had betrayed? What can you tell me of this place? How did you fall? What do you mean by those we had betrayed? Our Jedi Masters. Those who had taught us to use the Force. Who warned us against the dark side. Yet we embraced it in secret. Reveled in its power. We were... Discovered? Or did we act? I, I can no longer remember. But here is where we came, to hide, to grow, and here we fell. How did you fall? What happened? We hid from the Jedi, but it was not they who destroyed us. Is it not obvious what we did? We destroyed each other. We desired the secrets of each other to increase our power. We battled until finally our fortress rained down on top of us. <laughs> the Sith consumed themselves, did they? <laughs> I suppose that eventually they'd be all they'd have left to fight. And so, here, our old secret is buried, and none of us hold it anymore. Is that not right? Our power fled. Oh, what became of us? Do, do the Sith still thrive? Did they ever return? The Sith fled, yes, and they returned. The Sith have thrived and are more powerful than ever. They returned and endanger us all, and the light side must battle them. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll go with this. I, I think that might be a bit of a mistake, but what the heck. So much, so much time has passed, and yet we have learned nothing, nothing. What about your sword? Do you still have it? My sword? I filled it with my pride. And it is buried with me now. A corpse as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead. And I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness in death as in life. I need this sword you speak of. Of course you do. You seek my power. Will it destroy you as it did me? I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. Okay, I'll gladly take it out of here. What do you want me to do with it? If, if you are wise, you will not keep it. In the end... It is what destroyed me. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Yes, we know. Only one is truly my sword. But it has been so long, I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. And if the sword isn't yours? Then you must die. This is how it must be. Roger, Roger. Fair enough. How will I know which sword it is? I do remember one thing of my soul. Listen to me carefully. I am that which grips the heart in fright. Harkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then. Find my sword and place it on the statue. Well, that seems fairly obvious. Darkness, or the dark. Uh, not surprising, being a dark Jedi. So one of these swords had that dark circle on it, and I think that's actually the one we use. Show new items, show quest items, show equipable items. Okay. 
So flame, clearly not. Uh, red baleful eye, no. Notch steel sword, I think this is the one. It's black and it has a dark circle, so it's notch steel sword, I would assume. And I am so confident in my decision that you didn't see that. Place a sword in the statue, the notched steel sword. The sword sets itself in the stone as if it belongs there. Items lost. Well, and then we head back here and see if we're dead. Yes, that is the one. That is the blade that destroyed me. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. There is no need to remain here, is there? No need? What choice have I? You can return to the light side and end your torment. Return? But I betrayed my old masters. They would never let me return to the light side. It is too late. Too late. I don't believe the light side would turn you away. You have suffered long enough. If, ah, but it if does I need return. punishment, I guess. Oh, my master, it has been so long, and I regret so much. Ooh, light side points, and a lot of experience. Now, he said I could take the sword, and I had put it in this this uh, statue. I don't... No, looks like it's probably returned to my inventory. Silver... A Junta Paul's Blade, now it's called. And it is a nice one. 5 to 15, fire plus 2. Attack modifier plus 5. It's a double-sided double just sword. And that's the end of that one. So we just head out. Oh, I never noticed that before. Oh, that's... yeah. I did notice that. That's this. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, what a surprise. Hi, buddy. I saw you come in here, and I rather figured you'd make it all the way to the sarcophagus. Good to see I wasn't wrong. Ah, what do you want? Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of a Junt Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. <laughs> oh, typical. Always ready to jump at what they perceive to be the easier path. Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden, after all. Ah, this is true. I don't know what you're talking about. What sword? I don't think he actually said sword, did he? Nice try. I may not know what the sword looks like, Ooh, but I'm no hint. gullible fool. I'm not about to pass up a chance to impress Master Uthar. I may like you well enough, but being a Sith is all about taking chances when the moment is right. So make it easier on both of us. Hand over the sword. Well, if you insist. And if I don't, what are you going to give me for it? You'll take it over my 